Hello viewers, this is my next video of the iPod Fuzz channel, and this is going to show you um, an app I just downloaded from Rock called um, <clears throat> uh, Multiflow, and it's right here. Uh, I just bought it. It's a really good, it's a really great app for multitasking. So first thing you're going to have to do if, you, well, if you'd like it is just search and type in Backgrounder because this runs from backgrounder so so just type that in and just tap search and it's searching right now you should get something that looks like this and since I have an uninstall since I already have it it's gonna ask me for these three years to just say update right here so just download it and it's gonna ask you for a respring just hit on exit. Next thing you're going to want to download is Multiflow, but it's on the front page of Rock, so you don't really need to search for it. Just go over to Rock, scroll down, and it's right here. And there is, a, I think, a seven day trial or something like that, but which I used, but it is totally worth $4.99. So it's once you've. Thank you. Once you've downloaded those two programs, just press your home button and it should respring once you've downloaded those two, but it's going to give you two things in your springboard. It's going to give you Backgrounder and Multiflow Press. Just tap Backgrounder first and type in or tap Control and make sure it's Home button, not Power button, but Home button. And so just go back and press your Home button and go to Multiflow. And now tap open with and make sure it's this home button double tap. So now hit back and close out. So I'm going to test it with uh, calendar and uh, maps. Or no, I'll test it with weather or stocks or whatever. I'll test it with stocks first. <clears throat> so what you're going to do is just once it loads up, press and hold the home button and then it says backgrounding enabled. And then do it for, I'll do it for voice memos too. And it should say background enabled. Now what you're going to do is double tap the home button. And you should get something like this. And what you can do is just browse through the different running programs. Um, yeah, it's not that much. Uh, let me go into voice memos. And then I'll do it again. And I'll jump into the stocks or I'll go back to voice memos. And if you want to quit it, um, in the app, there's these little ch boxes at the top. There's these little boxes right here. but So you can use that to quit it. But also, if you'd like to quit it, here, I'll show you a demo of that. And it does quit. But also, if you'd like to quit it, you can just press and hold the home button, and it says background disabled. So, yeah. That this is a really great app. It makes it easy for multitasking. If you're doing, say, an email and you you need to look at something on Safari, or you're doing an IM chat with somebody, and they send you a link, and your your IM app doesn't have a built-in browser, this makes it really easy to jump back and forth. Or actually, I found this really great is if you're using the Pandora Radio app, and you can still keep the music streaming, even though you're browsing through other stuff. So yeah, um, this has been a gr this has been a great app for me lately, and I hope you like it. If you uh, if you like it, I hope you buy it. So yeah, um, make sure to comment, rate, and hopefully subscribe to me. Uh, thanks for watching.